There's another hypothesis of depression called the cytokine hypothesis of depression that I came across in, in working on the book. Farmers have long known, um, have long recognized in domestic animals a pattern of behavioral changes when animals get sick, usually with infectious disease. That's called sickness behavior. And it includes loss of appetite, uh, loss of mobility, loss of interest in socializing with others of their kind, loss of interest in sex. Um, changes that are strikingly similar to what happens in humans with major depression. Uh, it was Farmers traditionally have ascribed sickness behavior to fatigue associated with disease. But in the 1950s, it was found you could take a blood, blood from an animal with this behavior, inject it into a healthy animal, and the healthy animal develops the same behavioral changes. No one knew what that was. It was called factor X in the blood. In the 1970s, it was found to be cytokines, which are a group of proteins made by the immune system that have to do with body defenses. The one category of cytokines are the interferons that protect against uh, uh, germs of various kinds. There's another one called interleukins, tumor necrosis factor. In the 1970s, some of these products began to be available for medical treatment. The first one was interferon, which was uh, mainly used to treat chronic hepatitis, been used in some cancers as well. And if you look at the warnings on interferon for medical use, severe depression is one of the uh, symptoms, and as is suicide. Uh, so it looks as if there is a correlation between altered immunity and depression, and particularly an, up, an, a, an increased activity of these cytokine uh, regulators, so, which are also associated with increased inflammation. So this makes it look as if depression might be yet another manifestation or correlation of increased inflammation in the body. And therefore, an anti-inflammatory lifestyle and diet would be both useful to treat and prevent depression. And as evidence for this has been growing, uh, just in the past year, there was a suggestion of trying anti-inflammatory drugs in depression. And there's some research being done with this showing that it's useful. So this fits in so much with my general food philosophy.